Now we look at some general configuration guidelines for the gateway. So when you work with a gateway hosted in Azure, for example, make sure that you have the public IP address being used as main IP address and that the internal IP address, the private IP address that is external leading to the yeah, public IP address is as well present on the security gateway. Note that you need to add the public IP address as an alias address to the topology. Then you would like to define the VPN domain. So define it manually. That's kind of easier because then you know exactly which network interface is part of the VPN domain. And then you can, under the advanced settings, define that you support NAT traversal for the VPN clients. Under authentication, you may want to start with a simple username password authentication just to see that the gateway is reachable to make sure your configuration is correct and working. Then you define um, optionally the office mode parameters. Here in this example, you see I haven't configured yet any DNS, but just to make sure, define a least duration that is more than the zero minutes by default. And make sure that visitor mode is enabled because you need this to complete the wizard when you create a VPN site on the VPN client. You probably want to configure the gateway to support Ike v2 in case you may want to have other functionalities of Windows 10 clients, maybe a native IPsec VPN of Windows 10. And then you configure the endpoint connect settings, maybe the connect mode to manual, this is by default on always on, and just to make sure you have your configuration done.